started here at 8.30 at Mojo headquarters. And um, we got to Martin Ashton to come along. He was the next guest rider of the day. And uh, we got to have chats and catch up on stuff, coffee. And then Amy, our tour guide, um, showed us how to fix a pair of forks to lower them from 160 to 150, which was pretty interesting to see what was inside my forks that I ride. <laughs> You were like milking them. Oh, you were. That's what you were doing. It was gross. <laughs> it was gross. It's like cooking. You will need to put that in there. Yeah. Compress. Push it in. Uh, that should be fine enough. I think I'm gonna destroy this thing forever. Oh yes. yes. Yeah. In she go. Ooh, glove in there as well. Is this what you do all day? Oh, I've got my finger stuck. It's <laughs> <laughs> not funny, I want to get out. Pull it out. Pull it on. Oh, I can do that. That is easy. easy. It's like milk in a cup. Oh, it's not easy. Oh, there we are. How far yeah. up there? So to begin, we climbed up out from Mojo HQ um, onto the Mojo Trail, which we'd heard a lot about. Um, Amy took us up there. She set quite a pace on the uphill. I uh, wouldn't recommend following Amy up any hills. She's pretty, pretty fast. <laughs> So we did a few lines up at the top and, uh, and then we came down the Mojo Trail which was wicked. It was really, uh, really tight lines actually, switching back and forward. And then we uh, followed the trail down, back down to the centre, had some lunch and it was on to the rest of the day. Yeah, then the afternoon we went and rode another local trail spot and got to really see why Martin Ashton's so good on, a, good on a bike. Just hopping and nose wheeling down the road, hopping onto a bridge, riding across. Just and the skills on the bike. It was just, just wicked to see how, you know, how good he is. So yeah, we went to ride this uh, other trail up on the, some more hills and that was pretty fun. It had some jumps that were Pretty cool, riding, boom, 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 rut, rut, rut. I got to ride some jumps, which was uh, pretty good fun. He even rode a blooming log that was covered in moss, completely off camera, that I would never have even entertained. And he's like, just happily giving those things a go. I just realised the, the skills that he has is pretty amazing. Um, and to get a chance to ride with him kind of outside of his normal kind of trials terrain as well was really cool. To get, to get him to do a uh, gap jump across the road and just see him trail riding was just a really cool experience for us all to kind of come together, all from you know, different riding backgrounds and different techniques of doing stuff. Um, it was great to see Blake boosting some big old jumps and just us all riding together and having fun all from such different places with our bike riding. It was yeah, a really fun afternoon, good way to, to end day two. 